Well, lawmakers are back to work, but budget turmoil in Washington could create some headaches back here in the Beehive State for those lawmakers. First, though, tonight, after years of being denied water, one Southern Utah family is suing, claiming discrimination. Thanks for joining us for 2 News at 6. Imagine living for nearly five years without any running water, all because the water company simply says no when it comes to hooking up your home. It's happening to a family on Utah's southern border, and now that family is fighting back with a civil rights lawsuit. Lad Egan, live in southern Utah, with more on the story. Lad, tell us more about this family and the lawsuit. Well, this family, they are not members of the FLDS church, although the husband grew up in those towns and was a part of that church in his childhood. They live there now, and they've been waiting four and a half years simply to have water connected to their home. They claim it's discrimination because they're not part of the polygamous sect there. But attorneys for the water departments of Colorado City and Hilldale say they are not discriminating. They simply don't have the means to hook them up because there's a water shortage. We were told that this town had changed. Lon and Ginger Cook thought they would find peace among these red rocks. Oh, I thought it was really pretty. There's Bryce Canyon, Zions Canyon. There's all these parks and everything right here. It's beautiful. Instead, they're living a nightmare. It's been scary. And we thought we lived in America, and then we moved here. Ron grew up in Colorado City, one of 56 children in a polygamous family, part of the fundamentalist LDS church. He left the church as a teenager and settled in Phoenix. But after a devastating construction accident, they moved back to finish this abandoned house, only to learn that the city wouldn't honor the original permit promising water and power. They've hooked up FLDS. People and they will not hook up us. Nearly five years later, they have power but still no water. Their son makes multiple trips a week to fill this tank outside their front door. He doesn't want to shower because he doesn't want to have to haul water. Fighting back, the Cooks have filed a civil rights lawsuit against the city claiming discrimination. An attorney for the city says it's simple water policy. It's either someone complies with the policy or they don't comply with the policy, and it's very much black and white as to which one occurred. A mean and cruel thing to do. And they're doing it to their own people daily, the same kind of thing. Ginger says they've endured years of harassment and hopes this lawsuit paves the way for other outsiders to live in peace. Some justice better happen because if it doesn't, that means we let our family go through this for nothing. For a number of years, they did not have power hooked up to their home, and so they were forced as a family of five to live in a small camping trailer. They were only able to get power because a private company came in and took over the power company, so it was no longer controlled by those uh, polygamous towns. This uh, civil rights lawsuit is still in its pre-trial phase. Ron and Ginger Cook were actually in Phoenix earlier this month for some oral arguments before the judge, and I'm told that this case could move to a trial later this year, Mark. But for now, that family is stuck with that large tank and right in front of their home, and they've got to make multiple trips a week just to keep water running through their faucets so they can just do everyday things like wash dishes and wash their clothes. Mark, back to you. <laughs> wow. All right, uh, Lad, thank you very much.